Ah, people, welcome back to my next video. All right, guys, so I got a video to show you guys. So this video, I'll be showing you guys how to install Star 4 on your Legion Go 2. I did a video a couple mm -hmm. weeks ago and it showcased in how to install FSR 4 on your Legion Go S. But now I'll be showing you the same thing, how to install it on your Legion Go 2, run it to OS, right? But before you do that, um, one thing you should know, this uh, mod, it only supports games that uses DLSS built into the game because it, uh, it's actually injecting into the game and swapping it out so that you could actually put FSR 4 inside the game. So that's all you need to know. And it doesn't work for every, every game. As I said before, you got to make sure the game supports DLSS for this to actually work. All right, so one more thing as well. So with FSR 4, it's mostly about the visual fidelity, not really about the boost in FPS. It just makes the game a little bit more prettier compared to FSR 3 or any other FSR. Yeah, so let's, let me get into it real quick and I'll show you guys what's going on. All right, so the first thing I need you guys to do, um, head to desktop mode. And then once you get here, you open up your browser. And then you want to go to Decky Loader. So you want to go to Decky Loader website right here. Let's go to the official website right here, guys. Go on here. You want to hit download and download it and then install it. I already did it this part already, so I'm not going to go through the full installation. But it's not that hard. Once you download it, it's come into folders and you'll see it right here. You just click it, hit execute. Just put your sudo password in and then you will have it downloaded. If you don't have a pseudo password come down here to settings and then you scroll all the way down and you click on users and change password and then you can create a password right here guys once you create it put both same password in both box then you hit set, set password and then you should be good all right so after that we just gotta download the frame gen i'm gonna open up your browser again guys and then then you want to type the key frame gen guys once you do that, it should be the first one right here, Jason Derulo. You click on this. Then once you come in here, you want to go to the right side over here. Click on releases. So you want to click asset. Then you want to download this right here, guys, the zip file. All right, so once you do that, you could exit out of this. Let's check to make sure it got downloaded. Yep. Then you head back to gaming mode. All right, so once you're here, you wanna open up your flyout menu, guys, and then you wanna come all the way down to the decky loader, and you wanna go to settings. Then you wanna go to developer, and you wanna install from zip. Hit browse, go to downloads, and you see it right here, you click on this, they install it, guys. All right, so now we have decky frame gen right here, guys. You wanna click on this, you install Op OptiScaler real quick, and then you're up and running, guys. So this right here. So for the game that you're using, every time you want to patch or unpatch a game, you got to click the command to copy it. And it's basically telling you that your frame gen does not unpatch game when it uninstalled. Be sure to unpatch the game or run OptiScaler uninstall script inside the game files if you choose to uninstall the plugin. Right, so it's basically a warning you. So if you want to unpatch it, you got to click unpatch and then go back inside the game and unpatch it. But once you copy this right here, guys, come out here, then you head back to head to the game you want to use it with. And remember, it has to be a DLSS game. So let's try with Spider Man. And you go to settings, you go to properties, and then you scroll down to launch options. Come in here, then you want to paste it, guys. All right, so first, before we hop inside the game, we gotta do some re some button remapping. So you want to come come to the game, then you want to press the controller. And SteamOS is not officially compatible with the Lenovo Legion Go 2, so this is why we're seeing these buttons right here. These are the these are the Steam Deck buttons that is shown, but I figure out which one. I did some testing testing all the buttons to see which one will react with whatever button is on the Legion Go 2, right? So the one that says R5, this will react to this button right here, guys. So once you hit here, then you hit number pad, then hit insert. Now we can insert and use FSR4, and then this is how we will enable FSR4 inside the game. So map it to R5, and then whenever you, whenever you press this button, 
and then we'll open up the application and then we could turn on FSR4, right? So now hop inside the game and we'll see what's going on, guys. All right, once you get here, guys, you want to make sure you go to settings and you go to display graphics and you want to make sure upscaler is on DLSS, all right? So once that's good, you want to press this button right here. You're going to bring up DLSS and you're going to bring up the OptiScaler. And it's kind of small, so we could probably make it a little bit bigger, right? You just got to come to the bottom right here. And you click this drop down menu. And let's put it up a little bit. Let's put it to 1.6. And then this makes it a little bit bigger, guys. Let's put it 1.4, actually. All right, so when you're pressing the button, open it up. Um, Yours might not look like this because I was trying something out real quick. But let me show you how your CSS FSR 3 4.0.2 and then FSR 3 X slash 4. So you will click drop down menu right here. It should be, it's probably going to be an X ASS. Let me just hit upscale real quick. All right, so it's going to be like this. So first, you'll have to click on this drop down menu and you want to go on FSR 3 X slash 4. And then on the frame gen, Frame generation, you want to scroll down, click it. You want to put it on DLSS VI Streamline. So you click on that. Then you press upscale, All right? So once you press upscale, come back here. You will see it says FSR 4-02 upscaler. And then now your DLSS G, your DLSS SG V Streamline. Yeah, leave that like that. And then now we're up and running. So you want to scroll down and it says you got to save it, right? So you come down to the bottom and you press and you press save I and I and you just press close. And then we're up and running guys. So right now I said my FPS is 26 up and down, but I'm on 1200 P. You know what I mean? And let's hop inside the game real quick and then see what's going to happen guys. And right now FPS is 44 FPS. As I said, guys, this is mostly for visual fidelity so you probably not might might not want to do this it's up to you and uh, it's going up and down 45 and you just got to mess with your settings as well so if you want to get better fps out of this right so you could bring down the screen resolution because i am on 1200p and i think let me see my settings real quick go to graphics now I have everything on high. I just left it out of this guy. So if you bring the sound and tune it to your liking, you should be able to get a uh, better FPS out of it and getting better visual fidelity as well. But as, as I said before, this is not officially out. So this is like a mod you're installing on your system. So keep that in mind as well. So it's not officially out. It's not like fine tune or anything like that yet, right? and yeah it looks amazing plus i'm playing at 1200p as well so 44 goes up and down 50 fps and yeah it's working great but to be honest it's best that you stay on your regular thing right now which is regular fsr3 and then regular frame gen as of now guys but if you want to try it out you can I mean, you can try it out, nothing too crazy, just to try it out to see how different it looks and if you want to keep it. So let me try something real quick. Let me turn down my settings and see uh, if I can get my FPS a little bit more. Let me click on this. Go on here. Fix settings. Medium. See, immediately my FPS is jumping up. All right, let's leave it like that. And now we're at 50, 50, almost 60 FPS. And remember as well, I, I am on 1200p as well. If I bring it down as well, I should be able to get more. But as I said before, it's not fine tuned yet and it's not officially out. So keep that in mind, it's a mod. So, it's up to you if you want to try it out and I'll say it's best to just stick with the in-game upscale that you have already. You get me?
yeah so that's basically it time still in guys and yeah so as i said this is just mainly for visual fidelity and you can see the details and some of the stuff as well you can see everything looks a little bit better compared to the regular fsr3 so when the, when it comes out we're going to test it out some more and see what's going on and then by then it should be fine-tuned for these systems and ready to go and should be getting a lot more fps out of it so yeah but guys thanks for tuning in what i always say and let me know what you think down in the comment section down below if you want to try it out or not and hit that like button if you like what i'm posting and sub channel for more awesome content guys and what i always say health is wealth peace and love i'm out guys mm -hmm.